Robert Anthony Rodriguez was born and raised in San Antonio, Texas, USA, to Rebecca Villegas, a nurse, and Cecilio G. Rodriguez, a salesman. His family is of Mexican descent. Of all the people to be amazed by the images of John Carpenter's 1981 sci-fi parable, Escape from New York, 1981, none were as captivated as the 12-year-old Rodriguez, who sat with his friends in a crowded cinema. Many people watch films and arrogantly proclaim, I can do that. This young man said something different, I will do that. I'm gonna make movies. That day was the catalyst of his dream career. Born and raised in Texas, Robert was the middle child of a family that would include 10 children. While many a child would easily succumb to a Jan Brady sense of being lost in the shuffle, Robert always stood out as a very creative and very active young man. An artist by nature, he was very rarely seen sans pencil in hand doodling some abstract yet astounding dramatic feature on a piece of paper. His mother, not a fan of the dreary cinema of the 1970s, instills a sense of cinema in her children by taking them on weekly trips to San Antonio's famed Olmos Theater movie house and treats them to a healthy dose of Hollywood's golden age wonders, from Sergio Leone to the silent classic of Charles Chaplin and Buster Keaton. In a short amount of time, young Robert finds the family's old Super 8 film camera and makes his first films. The genres are unlimited. Action, sci-fi, horror, drama, stop-motion animation. He uses props from around the house, settings from around town, and makes use of the largest cast and crew at his disposal, his family. At the end of the decade, his father, a salesman, brings home the latest homemade technological wonder, a VCR, and with it, as a gift from the manufacturer, a video camera. With this new equipment at his disposal, he makes movies his entire life. He screens the movies for friends, all of whom desperately want to star in the next one. He gains a reputation in the neighborhood as, the kid who makes movies. Rather than handing in term papers, he is allowed to hand in, term movies, because, as he himself explains, the teachers knew I'd put more effort into a movie than I ever would into an essay. He starts his own comic strip, Los Hooligans. His movies win every local film competition and festival. When low academic grades threaten to keep him out of UT Austin's renowned film department, he proves his worth the only way he knows how, he makes a movie. 3. In fact, trilogy of short movies called, Austin Stories, starring his siblings. It beats the entries of the school's top students and allows Robert to enter the program. After being accepted into the film department, Robert takes $400 of his own money to make his biggest 